All right, I have an Arians 23 horsepower, 52 inch cut, zero turn, and we are going to mount an LED light underneath here. They make a kit for this for about 130 bucks, but I bought this off of Amazon for a heck of a lot cheaper. I put the link in the video description and I'll show you how I'm gonna mount it up underneath there. This is the actual bracket that I'm gonna use. It's a license plate holder that goes like on a trailer. You can see right here, I'm just cutting this bracket piece off because really all I need is just something that is slotted here. Again, that's the bracket I'm going to use. And if you look up underneath the front of the mower, you'll see a nut and bolt here. And you'll see one right over here on this other side. That's where the bracket's going to attach to. All right, this is what it looks like with the bracket installed on the bottom. I actually installed the bracket over the bolts. Those are carriage bolts, so you're going to have to maybe adjust your bracket to where it'll fit in there. Okay, this is what it looks like after it's all bolted up. Now all I have to do is just wire it up. I'm going to mount an on-off switch right here and I actually drilled that hole out just a little bit. And this is the guy that I'm going to use here. I know it's upside down but you can see that it's going to fit perfectly. You cannot wire it directly to the ignition switch that comes from Arians. They said that that is not the way the kit is designed to be used so that's why we're doing our own and it's going to be a lot more cost effective if you look under the seat right back here by the battery you're going to see two wires you're going to see a black wire and a purple wire the black wire is going to be a ground the purple wire is going to be a hot when you turn the ignition switch to on now it doesn't matter which one of these positions that you have it in it's going to become hot however i'm going to show you here you have to open this up and put an inline fuse in this fuse box in order for this hot to come on with the ignition. All right, we're going to open up this fuse box here. In order to do that, you just need to remove this guy right there. Okay, when you open the fuse box up, you're going to need to put you an inline fuse here. These are those small little mini fuses, and this is going to allow us to tap into that key ignition hot on the purple wire. So you can see right here I put a 10 amp mini fuse in the fuse box. Now this purple wire down here is going to be hot when the ignition key turns on. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. I got this tester light. So you can see right now there's no hot. But when I turn the key on it gives me a hot. Explain how the wiring is going to work. From the light up front you're going to run and ground it directly to the black wire. Now for the hot, what we'll do is we'll run from this purple wire, we'll run one wire over to the switch, and then from the switch, we'll run it to the front of the lawnmower to the light. So that way when you turn the key on, it'll give power to the purple wire, and then when you flip the switch, it'll give power to the light. What the wiring looks like here. Just tucked it up in that rail, and all the way back. Okay, so the wiring is going up underneath. I ran it up through here. You need to make sure you don't put the wires around anything that's moving to where it'll cut or rub against those wires. And then I just zip tied back up in here to kind of create some tension so you won't see the wires sagging down. And then ran them over this way. Went ahead and plugged them in and zip tied them underneath there. We're good to go.